Hello everybody, welcome to a conflict Europe. Let's play. We're gonna play as uh, NATO forces in the first scenario. But first, let's uh, watch the intro. Shall we? I remember back in the day, this was creepy. Mommy, I'm dead. And this was so freaking cool. Creepy, but also cool. Right, uh, you can play obviously as the Warsaw Pact, but we're gonna play as NATO. And in the very first scenario. Which is the more, let's say, default scenario. My plan is this. I'm gonna fall towards uh, the middle here of Germany near the uh, uh, position of uh, Denmark all the way down south to Switzerland we're gonna have to try to stop the Soviets well, the Warsaw Pact, but it's easier to say Soviets so from now on I'm gonna keep saying Soviets for that reason alone we're gonna have to stop them before they approach the German-French uh, border if they manage to reach the French-German border in numbers, then we lose the war. At the same time, we hope that the neutral forces of Austria and Yugoslavia will manage to do some damage to the enemy, although probably not much. Our Italian forces are not that interesting in terms of firepower, but I'm gonna keep moving them north near Switzerland. Hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to stop the Warsaw Pact forces before they, well, before they win the war. But first, let's uh, check the military news. Good. Gonna fall back my units. Uh, let's move the first German, the well, West German, that way, that way, and see. Gonna move the Belgium first there to make room for the West German army one second I need to change the DPI settings over there for the third core make it a bit easier to defend that way also let's mm, yeah let's fall back not that much I'm gonna keep the German fourth core over here I don't know if uh, the 16th army is going to move west or try to attack. 
you know what? Change of plans. Let's see if we can help the Austrians at all. Move the German 4th Corps down. And the Italian 5th. Near the Austrians. I doubt we will be able to save the Austrian army. But hopefully we will stop their forces, the rest of the enemy forces from uh, spilling through. Keep moving the Italians up. And see how that goes. Good. All right, regarding our strategic air forces, these are basically squadrons. Uh, I'm gonna increase my air superiority to 15. Counter air, let's go for 5. And air defense, another 5, so to 15. Reconnaissance, go 1. And. I'm thinking about going for Assault Breaker. Basically you are using the squadrons to focus an attack on an enemy army. My idea is, uh, they, they have an amphibious army here, the first amphibious army, which isn't big, but can be risky to let them survive the uh, movement through the Baltic. Because then they'll be able to flank me, or at the very least uh, hit me from two sides uh, while I don't want that. So actually, let's uh, change that. Go for Assault Breaker. 15. Ah, risky, risky though. Risky though to do it in the first turn. Alright, let's cancel that. I'm going to wait for the Amphibious Army to approach the Danish first corps, so I can attack them from that direction too. Let's use... I'm not going to use chemicals, I'm going to use those special forces to attack um, the airfields. Oh wait. Also use anti-satellite missions. Good. I think that's fine for now. Cannot really attack much. I mean, you can attack the third guard Stang army. The eighth is too powerful right now. Uh, in theory, we can do this. The problem is we are going to lose forces we don't have to lose right now, and I don't want that. Let's leave it. No more Ocean Army. And the second Yugoslavian Corps. That's a shame. The West German Third Corps is damaged, clearly, but not that much. I'm a bit surprised about. I don't know what they'll do with this, the first amphibious army. Are they going to move it or not? Okay, okay. Uh, let's send the um, the arm. Basically, is a, you have a. Let me show you somewhere else. Now, its army has three main elements: arm, air, and soup. Uh, arm is a combat efficiency in general, but uh, basically means ground forces. Air is a close uh, ground air support and helicopters and air defenses. Soup is uh, supplies and this allows uh, movement and uh, ammunition for the units and so on. You know, you need everything. Uh, gonna send reinforcements to the Danish First Corps. I want them to be ready to attack the amphibious army when it arrives. Can I use 
reinforced with air the uh, third core here. As for supplies, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to them or else they might get stranded. Okay, before I do anything, let's uh, check the news. Do you have any messages? Nothing. Okay, the good thing is that the first amphibious army has moved. Oh, come on. <laughs> they have not reinforced it. That's good. That's good. I might be able to take it out. I might be able to take it out. Let's see. Mm, they still have air superiority. Planes. Uh... I would love to use uh, some squadrons on counter air. That's uh, for um, attacking airfields and all that. But I'm gonna focus on assault breaker. Hopefully, 14 squadrons will be enough, but might not be. And uh, I use that on the first amphibious army. With an attack from the land, from the Danish first core. If we get lucky, we'll be able to destroy it. If. Now, our armies here in Austria cannot move this turn because they moved last turn and it is a hard, difficult terrain. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Gonna leave the Belgium back there in case we need to send some reinforcements. And let's send movement here. He's tempting to attack this one. 5 4 though, it's quite strong. 16th Army could be the weakest link for them. Let's try this. You can attack with more than one army at the same enemy unit, uh, enemy army, as long as, of course, it is possible by uh, proximity and supplies. Also, let's attack the amphibious, the amphibious army. Good. And now the point of the assault breaker mission. 3-1, let's see how this works. Not good. Hmm. What's, this, what's the situation of the first amphibious army? 2-0. It's definitely been damaged. The Danish first core is damaged, but uh, not too much. With some reinforcements and another assault breaker, we should be able to destroy the first amphibious army and eliminate the threat to Denmark. We have four uh, supplies, not supplies, arm uh, re um, reinforcements. Let's check what else do we have. Four air and six supplies. Zero strategic air. Gonna have start having strategic air from next uh, turn. Okay. Yes, definitely send one to Danis. Seven three four two. 
two zero out. <sighs> two zero has definitely been damaged a lot. Sixteenth Army has been hurt, but not much. All right, all right. One thing at a time. That's first call, definitely. With German, yes. Although, might be a better idea to support the Belgium first call and move it in position. Let's do that. We're gonna need to bring reinforcements to this one. Hopefully, it manages to stop these armies from moving westwards. Air support, air resupplies, reinforcements necessary. And then there. Sending the supplies to. Oh. Yeah. Running out of supplies, aren't we? Makes sense. A fighting. I wonder if they'll move west or not. They m they will probably move. Right here's oh they reinforced the 16th army quite a lot. Here's what I can do. Move the West German Fourth Corps up and attack the 16th army. Also use the West German second, the US fifth. The US 7th move it there and attack and also bring the French 2nd there and attack. So we have uh, 5 armies attacking 1. That could be quite useful. Let's do this. It's a bit risky but uh, I'm gonna take the chance. And yes, bring the Belgium first up north. Good. And the Italian, just in case uh, the uh, Americans here, uh, the West Germans here require help. And definitely moved. <laughs> Alright, uh, again, first of all, attack the first amphibious army. We need to destroy it. And now let's focus on the 16th army. Good. Considering attacking. Oh, 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 oh. That's not a bad idea, is it? We could attack the 21st army with the Italian 5th. Might be a good idea. Not good, not good. Alright, destroyed one, we lost one. First, the 16th army is holding. That's unfortunate. Okay. Now we don't need to focus too much on the Danish first core. Denmark is quite safe for now. 
You're gonna need to bring reinforcements to the others. All right, Belgium. With German, France, France, with German, and again this one. Yeah. Not bad, but supplies. Two, let's give it one. I might move it back, we'll see. Three. One, not take one, at least one more. You take two. Two. Uh, oh, one more, one more. Okay, that's not necessarily bad that they broke through in the north. The first guards tank army. 8-4, it's quite powerful. How do we have to stop them? Have the first was German, the British first, and probably the West German third. So I'm gonna move the West German up, move the West German this one over here. And perhaps also move the British to the north. And to be able to attack with three units, three armies, the first guard tank army. And let's see if we have any squadrons left in the assault breaker. We have, we have, definitely have. Their superiority falls down, I don't like that. What's the reinforcements like for air strategic strategic air? Uh, seven. And then six, then it falls. Hmm. No, wait, 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 wait. How long does it fall? Yeah, it remains quite low later. Gonna have to do this. Place the two enemy air reserves in a salt breaker. Check the news. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Can we move there? I don't think so now. Okay. Let's make sure we don't lose complete contact with them. What's the condition of the, the 
First Polish army. Oh, they exchanged. They ch yeah, they moved the 16th army in the back. And moved uh, the first Polish to replace it. That's possible for both uh, the computer-controlled and human-controlled armies. You can do that as long as you have movement points for both of the um, uh, armies you want to swap. It's not something I want to do this now. Alright, move that one there. we are gonna use those three, even though they are not that powerful. To attack the first tank's army. Or. I could also attack the first police armor. Damage it enough. Yeah, that's quite a tempting thing to do. Can also send the assault breaker on the second Romanian army to help uh, the Yugoslavians here. I mean, if we use a good assault breaker on them, they might stay alive. And if we send the second Italian corps. And arrives in time and a bit lucky might destroy the uh, second Romanian army because they'll have another one <laughs> yeah yeah not easy not easy is it hmm. Tempting. Here's the thing: if we, even if you manage to damage the first police army, you'll simply be able to replace it, perhaps with the tenth, or move uh, forward again the sixteenth after having resupplying it, resupplied it. I don't know. I don't know what they'll do. The question is, do you fall back? Or not? The answer is not. I'd bring the Italians up. Uh, if wait 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 assault breaker attack from the second Italian fifth Italian and the fourth German on the eighth guard tank army with the assault breaker might be able to destroy it then they're gonna have basically only the 21st army here which is quite weak, and then we might be able to flank them. Yep, 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 yep. Do this. I doubt they'll attack, but might be a good idea for us to attack it. Let's do this too. Yeah, why not? Over here as well. Yeah, this one. How much is it damaged? 
two one, not that much. How far she suffered more damage? <sighs> okay, what about north? Some air damage. Not much though. Okay. Support the Italian second. Ah, not much uh, reinforcement this turn. Uh, be, be careful with the supplies too. Don't have many supplies. Uh, the Belgium. West German. Ah, oh, this is a problem. Italian fifth is quite damaged. I get one more. Ah, the first police army was hit hard. Good. Good. And tell you what, support the fifth. Okay, what have they done here? Not much reinforcements. Good, good. Uh, let's check the news. Any messages? No? Can do this. I have I have a, a good feeling about this. Don't know why, but I have it. Let's keep bring the Danis first south. Good. This will help if they move forces over there. No one else moves. What is that in uh, Czechoslovakia? First airborne army. Hmm. Okay. What do we have in, in, uh, in terms of air, strategic air? Six air reserve, could use them for assault breakers. Air superiority is holding. Yes, let's focus on assault breakers. Continue the attack to the 8th. The second Romanian did not attack the Yugoslavia. I don't know if they waited for the first one, the third one, to, to attack together or not. It is tempting to use my Italian second to attack. The eighth. Let's do this. Ah, uh, the Italian fifth is heavily damaged, though. I'm gonna risk it. Attack. The the rest of you keep attacking the first police army. Might be able to take it out of the map. Eight four, huh? eight three, eight four. They have the numbers, no question about it. I'm not going to use my forces there for now. Right, go for this. Yes.
Not good. Good. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah. It was only a matter of time. Since you couldn't send the heavy reinforcements in the area. What do they have now? It is damaged though. Some reinforcements and a good assault breaker might be able to take them out. Let's see, what else do we need? Which one do, does it need um, reinforcements like now? I heavily damaged that. I can hold. Let's do this. Support the Italian second core. As much as you can. Three will do for now. What else needs applies? Oh, definitely. Okay, one more there. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting them to move through the gap. Feels suicidal to me. I mean, now I'm forced to basically to move back. Damn it. Wait, it's a new day. Let's check the news. Begin to feel tempted to use uh, some of my more uh, strategic assets. Very tempted. Mm. No, not chemical, no. At least not that kind of operations. What about uh, what's my strategic air is doing? They are holding. I can reinforce the assault breaker even more. Let's continue this. And as much as I want to help here, now that I'm thinking of it. But now that I'm thinking of this, this is a problem. This is a problem. What about resupplies? Reinforcements. I don't know why I keep mixing that. Not great, not great. All right, let's move. Yeah, we have to focus on the third guard stang army. Let's not uh, let them uh, capture bone. We're gonna attack 
with the Belgium first, West German third, France first, and West German second, and a salt breaker. We, if we get lucky, we should be able to stop them. 24. That's heavily damaged. All right, we can do this too. Gonna use the fourth, second, and seventh to attack the twenty-first army. Take it out of the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, poop. I forgot to move the uh, Danish army. Well, that is a problem. Anyway. Well, now let's attack the third. Who's going to attack first? <laughs> they all suck. But uh, they all have to attack. Come on. Okay, now attack the 21st, taking out of the picture will be useful, very useful, it is tempting to also attack the 10th army but yeah do this. And the assault breaker at the uh, third guards. Okay, what's the situation like with this one? Uh, no, four three. It is damaged, but not much. You don't have much reinforcements either. That's not good, guys. That's uh, definitely not good. <sighs> good, not good. The 21st is almost gone, but right now, that's not uh, my thingy. All right, send reinforcements to the West German second. If we move first, we'll be able to send it to Bonn. And who else can we support? Three, two, one. Definitely support that. Anyone else? Yep. You're gonna need more than one supply. You two. This is not looking too good. You're moving first, that's fantastic. That's fun freaking tastic. All right, all right, good, good. Then change of plans. The first, the French first corps moved to Bonn and moved the US fifth over there. Much better than using the West German second to attack. They should be able to destroy the third guard tank army with the help of the assault breaker. As for these units, the Italian second should be able to destroy the 21st. Um, I'm gonna leave the French second there because this way we can move them either way. Tempting, tempting to move the Danish first south. But the problem is then they will be they will, they, they, the Soviets will be able to attack it from two or even a three directions, and I don't want that.
Oh, you mother fathers. They fell back. I made a smart move. Okay, any news? No. Strategic air, what's the situation? Oh, their air, superior, their air superiority keeps increasing. That's not good for me. That's not good. But at least my assault breaker continues to be at a good number, at a good level. Okay. Okay. First, we need to destroy this one. We need to take it out of the picture because that's the most direct threat right now. Ah, oh, Belgium second call is too risky to attack. It is. Uh, let's not use it. Let's use this one and hopefully it will be very good and lucky. Not good. Not good. 4-3. My oh my, my oh my. Not good. At least the second Belgium, the first Belgium is still alive. Need to keep attacking it. Like who needs supplies more than anything? Fifth. First. And the rest. This is fine for now. That's very bad. And I don't see me stopping them. You know what I'm thinking, right? The N word. Nuclear weapons, I mean. Very tempting. Very, very tempting. Well, I do this. Hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Ah, let's do this. I wonder if we could check one of these armies out. Using the France, West German and France with the assault breaker, we might take one of them out. There's a Alright, let's let's try it and how much do you have any mm, have fifteen assault breaker, not many. We could can we reduce this? I think we can, right? Yeah. Can we give them that? No! Oh that was a good move. I removed them from air defense, but I cannot place them. Oh that's fantastic. Perhaps I'll need to wait one turn for that. Ah, that was a bad move. Okay. <laughs> I might have screwed myself now. Okay, this turn I'm gonna use Assault Breaker and the attack from those three units to attack the fourth guard. Oh, I actually move there. So I'm gonna use those three armies to attack this one and the Assault Breaker. If we manage to take it out, then perhaps next turn we'll be able to do the same for the 10th army. Perhaps. If we do not manage to take it out, we might have to use some uh, special weapons again, even though that of course is extremely risky. Do you have any news? Oops. No? Let's uh, threaten total reflex. And... I could, in theory, offer ceasefire. But let's wait one more turn. And to see if we'll be able to stop them. Now, if we destroy this, this turn, we might be able to.
Nope. Not even a dent. That's not good. That's not good. Not good. Well, on the plus side, now that we have fewer units, we have more supplies to give. So, you know, half uh, glass half full or something. Yeah, they're gonna break through. Seven, four, six, four, we cannot stop them. We don't have the forces here to stop them. Any news? All right, I'm gonna offer a ceasefire. Let's see, let's hope they accept or else I'm not going to surrender, but I'm gonna offer a ceasefire. If they say yes, good kind of one kind of <laughs> uh, if not we're gonna go in for the big guns let's uh, keep moving south And see what happens. Yeah, they're very powerful. No way I can do anything. Six three. Not good. <laughs> and if uh, they refuse the ceasefire thingy, let's see. After considering your proposal and your acts today, to believe that you will do merely use the given time ceasefire to rebuild the rearm. That sounds familiar. We therefore reject your offer. Okay. I mean, okay. Threat and total reflex. And, uh, wait, what about strategic care? We have seven more. We can go to 18. Uh, seven four is too much. Cannot even if you bring the second there, the first there, and the second there, and the attack will not be able to take them out. Are we? I don't know. Let me check the reinforcements.
if we had more reinforcements, especially strategic air, this could have worked. This could definitely have worked. Because now, with, even with the Assault Breaker, which isn't bad at 18 squadrons, but you don't have enough uh, forces here to destroy the 10th Army or even make it fall back. And they have a fully ready here Guards Army, Tank Army. <sighs> Cannot really stop them. As simple as that. All right. Just lose all our units. <laughs> okay, that didn't go well. <laughs> I thought we had at least one unit remaining. That's the same. We could have won, not really. <laughs> all right. Now, considering I haven't played the game in years, I think I did okay. Uh, yeah. Well, it was fun either way. I want to thank you very much for watching. And uh, perhaps next time we'll, uh, we'll play a different scenario or even different uh, side. Let me know if you enjoyed this, if you liked it, and uh, if you'd like to see more of this. Please uh, don't forget to like or subscribe if you want to. And uh, obviously if you want to donate something, there's a coffee link below. That will be very helpful for me too. Take care, happy gaming, and stay safe everybody. Bye-bye.